Hello there everybody, Billabo10000 here, bringing you my Square Enix live reaction video. If something crazy happens, I'm gonna react. I'm probably gonna have to talk like this though, because it's almost 3am, and there are people asleep next door. I also don't have my beanie- I could put my beanie on. Give me a minute, I'll put my beanie on, and then we'll get started. Uh, I probably won't react to the whole conference, or at least you won't see the whole reaction. You'll just see any reactions to anything interesting that I saw, and we'll have some fun times. Let's do this. I'm very much looking forward to the Final Fantasy XIV DLC for the, uh, for the MMO. Maybe some Final Fantasy VII. And what we're seeing straight up is Cloud's Buster Sword, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay. <laughs> Starting off with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Brilliant. Okay. I mean, what are you going to pick? I mean, I would pick Remake. Good choice. Is it going to show that trailer that we have uh, saw recently? Oh, I'm hyped. I'm, I'm really excited for that. I genuinely am. I didn't grow up when Final Fantasy VII was at its peak. I think my brother played it, but I didn't. So it'd be really cool to finally experience it for myself. Because I tried playing the original and I, I couldn't really get into it. God, it's so pretty. You got the train that Cloud gets off at the beginning. You got Aerith, or Aeris, whichever one. That Buster Sword. Depression Boy. God damn. And that music as well. That music is god tier, it really is. If only we could get it in Smash, you know? Oh. Look at him. Final Fantasy VII. Remake. Oh, yeah. Is Barrett voiced by the guy who does Rodan? They sound very similar. It's an Electro Stomp, a Scorpion Sentinel. Great! No option, huh? Oh, I love the kind of party banter, that's so cool! Uh, he just said the S word! He cursed! He said shit! It's on you. Death is my turn. Damn, Cloud! Holy shit! This is the most awkward reaction video. I'm so sorry, I can't be like 100%, guys. I wish I could. This is so cool. Look, I'm invested. I want to play this. I really want to play this. And look how cinematic these fights are. Like, beyond just hacking and slashing, there's movement, there's arena. There's Mark 99 launchers. I also love that Cloud is, like, somewhat emo -y monotone in his voice, which is just perfect for him. I know, I believe, that, uh, it's the same voice actor that normally voices Cloud in English is doing him, he just does him so well. Also, this music as well. If only we could get this music in Smash, that would be great. Oh, that's really cool! So while Cloud is ducking, Barrett can fire at the guy. It's very... It reminds me of an XCOM, like Fire Emblem even. Obviously with, you know, Final Fantasy. And he's gonna switch to Cloud now, it's that laser fires, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So cool. God damn, this thing needs to die. Oh no. Oh no.
I mean, at this point, you'd think this, this thing would just blow up the goddamn entire room. Like, you'd think this would be done with the amount of explosions going around. That was so cool! And you can hear the crowd, like, screaming and cheering about that as well. That's great. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful! Oh, that was amazing. Now run! Also, this is incredibly cinematic. I love this. Alright, the bombs, the bombs set. Good God, that was insane. Hereth, hello, my queen. Icon, we stand. When she dies again, it's going to be very, very sad. Oh boy, they better do that scene justice. Because if they fuck that scene up. <laughs> I forgot just how big Midgar actually was. And then of course there's the world outside of Midgar as well. These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche Sir. Oh, you got bike combat? You can have it. Nice. They have to show off Tifa. They have to. You think he's a keeper? Yeah, that's what we just saw. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Please show us Tifa. Please. No Help me. What the fuck? Oh, so we've got Aerith on the team. I see Tifa there. I saw her for a second. Well, not her, but I saw her name. She is so beautiful! Have you been a good girl? Oh, she looks beautiful! Look at her! I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... Aw, oh, damn, Diva, yes! Please fight. I want to see you fight. God, I'm not even like, like I'm not even that attached to Final Fantasy VII, but I freaked out when I saw her. I know how big it is. I know how important she is to the fandom. Oh, look at her fight! Look at her! Look at him! God, Aerith is so confident in this as well. Look at that, the ship that everyone wishes was real. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cool! Calm down, Tifa! Wasn't there. Hold on to that hatred. <laughs> Alright, what's next? I love this kind of painting aesthetic. From ages long ago, miasma has blanketed the world. I have no 
idea what this is. Star Ocean, maybe? Keep the debris miasma in check. Oh no, this is uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Duh. Because they remade it, right? These are the chronicles yes! Of the I mean, this was like revealed for like Nintendo Switch ages ago, and they never revealed anything else. If we had no crystals, miasma would consume us all. I think people are hyped for this, so I'm excited to see what it's about. I could play together with my friends. The journey now unfolds on smartphones. No fair. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. This winter, embark on a new journey once more. All right. Exciting. The journey begins. Yes, hello, Octopath. Oh, it's coming to PC? This should be fun. I mean, I'll probably get it on Switch if I'm going to get it anywhere, but that's cool knowing it's coming multi-platform now. Club. I just... The riddles of this land I don't know why, but this doesn't appeal to me. And I I feel like if I was younger, it would. And I guess my tastes have just changed, but it just doesn't... It doesn't. There is a land of adventure with many islands offering unlimited building... And it's a real shame, because I know these are good games. I know they are. And I wish I could enjoy them like other people do. They're just not my thing. That guy did not look like he was there, like, speaking from the heart. He looked like he was speaking for a teleprompter, and he was being held hostage. And this is that war one we saw. Oh my god, it's not Call of Duty. Battalion 1944 recaptures the core of classic competitive first person It's Call of Not Duty. Wow. You'll need to quickly coordinate strategy I'm sorry, like, why would you, why would you, of anything, why would you decide to make a competitive multiplayer shooter? Like, that is, like, the hardest genre to get into now because it's so overly saturated. Why would you do that? I mean, it's a ballsy move if it works, but if it doesn't, they're fucked. It's cool it's on Spotify now, though. Or King of... Everyone shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Everyone shut up. Let me... This is the one where it's like, look, sword is important now. So. Coat Wards of Darkness. Oh my god. Oh, that's useful. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, just... <sighs> like, I saw this trailer the other day, but I'm hoping they've added more to it. They need to have added more to it. Please. Oh god. Because, you know, they're, they're going to release a final mix of Kingdom Hearts 3, and you've got Riku, playable, you can play as Aqua, you can play as Roxas. Oh, God. And I'm really curious about how this is going to work. But more than anything, I just... And we've got drive forms, by the way, a drive form. But uh, uh, is there more? Is, is there more to this trailer? Because we saw this the other day. Like, this was released the other day. Also, yeah, look, Sword finally having something to do. I love it. Oh, come on. Give me something to work with, because Kingdom Hearts, I've, I'm, I'm invested in the series. I've played every game. I really liked 3, but if this makes it better... And if it releases this year, I'd fucking freak. I can't remember what the release date was. Okay, yep, there we go, Kingdom Hearts 3, again. Remind. Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC, coming this winter. Okay, 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 okay. If it comes before December 31st, I can include that. In my Please top welcome. 20. Now, here here we go! Director, Final Fantasy oh, look how beautiful it is! Well, if it ain't the oldest joke in the book. Oh god, the voice acting. I forgot about the voice acting. Have a dark night. Over a hundred bleeding years ago. That's when. Some of the voice acting in this game is questionable, but you know, it's part of the charm. In that chaotic no man's land between realms, time and space warm and blend in unexpected ways. What Orianger saw was the future. Oh, it 
looks so good. Yeah, show us some gameplay. That's how the senators came to be. So I'm guessing Shadowbringers they is gonna be very like heavenly, helly, I guess. But that's terrifying. Because obviously, uh, Stormblood, which I fucking loved, was very Eastern inspired. Whereas, um, oh, what's called uh, Heaven's Ward was very kind of like mountain snow. This is giving me like bayonetta vibes, if anything. Also, Alphano, can you stop talking, please? I know that was you, Alphano. Be very disappointed if there isn't a mission that takes me to the Waking Sands again in this DLC. It's Jab of the Hut. Sin eaters are part of Yulmore society, but they must be fed with ether. No. Ether. We need to knock that fat guy out. I hope he's a boss and I hope we kill him. Who tried to save it? This world has had its fill of heroes. But the world may be beyond saving, but we're gonna save it anyway. Because we're kind of, you know, just that guy. It's kind of our deal. You know, with the Warrior of Light. We're a scion. It's kind of our job to save the world. Kill primals, all that kind of stuff. Everything we did. Everything we gave. And I'm excited for new primals, potentially. What was it for? The time has come. I mean, honestly, I think Square Enix is killing this conference. the tyranny of light. Ah, we're going with the classic implication that light isn't always as good as it's made out to be. And sometimes you need to have a perfect balance of light and dark. Become the warrior of darkness. Damn! Okay. Work. I'm ready for this. I also like that they're using, I think, um, the main the character of Final Fantasy IV was made as an image there. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard. Just all but it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods. But they are gods after a fashion, yes. The eldest and most powerful of primals. Chucking out that Heidelin was a primal the entire time. That's... Oh, that's... that's big. Is, is this Avengers? Is this Avengers? It is. It is. I think it is. No, nope, Final Fantasy VIII. <gasps> Oh, it's finally being brought back. There was a reason why it wasn't back. And now it is here. Okay, great. Cool. Brilliant. This is like the one that was missing. I was like, I want to play this. But it's not here. Also, Squall's dead. That's the theory, right? She kills him, right? End of disc one. Ice through the heart. I think that's how it works. But the question is, is this releasing on the Switch? That's what I want to know. Because that's where all my other Final Fantasy fun stuff is. Yeah. 
Yes. It's on Switch. That's gotta be it. It's gotta go to Avengers now. They can't have any more. Yep, Avengers. This is the ending. This is what everyone was waiting for. This is what everyone was waiting for. So how is this gonna work? Also Crystal Dynamics, yes, and Eidos. Yes. Oh no. Gordon, Tony, check it out. At once. We're trying to keep up. It's a shame we couldn't get the movie actors. Gah. Always oh, angry. God, it looks good. But what's the gameplay gonna be like? That's what I want to know. does look very good. But I want more gameplay. Like, with a HUD. I know we're not going to get that, but I want it. I want an idea of what kind of game this is going to be. And the helicarrier is destroyed. Great, cool. Yeah. It's gone. Others call them murderers. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Oh, no. We all lost something that day. But that's not how this story ends. Oh, my God. It's basically an Avengers film, but a game. I'm ready. We are all ready. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> it looks so good. Hello, E3. Hello, Scott Amos. Hi. Hello. Cinematic and character driven campaign of Marvel's Avengers. But launch is only the beginning of this adventure. Marvel's Avengers delivers a narrative over multiple years with exciting new content released at a regular basis. Oh no. Like the Avengers, you and your friends. Is there going to be a full story together. when it starts though? You'll assemble into teams of up to four players online. Where you can master extraordinary abilities, where you can customize a growing roster of heroes and defend the earth from ever A growing roster of heroes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. And to make sure I'm everyone okay with this. comes on this journey with us, we're incredibly thrilled to announce that every new superhero and every new region will be Free. delivered at no additional cost. <laughs> They just fucking did that. They could have put a price on that and people would have so lapped it up. But they just fucking did that. They fucking yeah. did that. They just did that. This game represents a collaboration across Crystal Dynamics. 
Marvel game. I know you're out here. <laughs> they fucking Five did that. Montreal. These guys are here. Nixie Software. Our new Crystal Northwest studio. And everyone at Square Enix. So our game is about embracing your powers Fucking and amazing. living your superhero dreams. We have an exclusive gameplay demo in our booth that will show you and how I love that the they basically just flexed on everyone. It's like, no loot boxes, and no additional costs, and everyone's like, <gasps> and then EA's like. <sighs> so Marvel's Avengers will release. Damn it! Progress, Hank. I have a plan, but it's risky. That was Ant Man, right? Come on, Tony, live a little. No, that wasn't. Ignore me. I heard the word Hank and I thought Ant Man. Oh, but it, yes, it is. It is. Unbelievable. It worked. <laughs> sort of cute when they're small. Ah, I didn't doubt you for a second, Hank. Huh. May 15th, 2020. There we go. Is that the final announcement? Or is there anything else? That's it. Square Enix just flexed on us. Sizzle reel, let's go. Give us that sizzle reel. Oh no, it's just leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sperry Nix. Bye. <laughs> All right. That was, at least in my opinion, a fucking brilliant uh, conference. Most of the things I saw there I was actually very excited for. Um, and Square Enix is once again just flexing their JRPG realness. Uh, I need to go. It's 4.18 a.m., uh, and I'm probably going to uh, have this uploaded tomorrow afternoon, so you won't be seeing this for a while. But um, what did you guys think of the Square Enix conference? Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, I'm pretty hyped for so much of this, and I will see you guys in a bit for Nintendo's E3 conference. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching, and goodbye, guys.